Hello and welcome. So today we want to tackle a problem that many businesses face, um, how to efficiently manage internal processes while also engaging with external users online. So um, maybe you've ever struggled uh, finding the right tools for building custom business apps or maybe external facing websites, yeah, without breaking a bank or the extensive coding skills. Or maybe you're informed of power apps and power pages, but are not sure on what to use, where and when. Let's solve that using Microsoft Power Platform by checking out power apps and power pages. So with power apps, you can quickly create custom business applications that connect to your data, either uh, Microsoft Dataverse or various online and on-premises data sources. Yeah, so uh, with Power Apps, it's perfect for creating applications that will automate processes uh, and solve your unique business challenges. So, for example, um, attached here is a screenshot. So, examples of apps you can create with Power Apps include data entry forms, and uh, this is a budget tracker that will show you in details at the end of the slides. So. Yeah, uh, next let's uh, switch gears and talk about our pages. So our pages uh, is formerly known as Power Apps Portals and for this one it's designed for, um, you can say external facing websites or even internal facing uh, websites that yeah, require many people to interact with it. So yeah, with Power Pages you can create interactive websites and they can display data from Dataverse and other sources as well. They can include forms for data entry, workflows, and more. So uh, ideally, it's for creating uh, customer self-service portals, personal management portals, and other external sites where you need to share and collect data securely and efficiently. So uh, as well, we're going to show you an example of an employee portal and how you can quickly create that using Power Pages. Yeah, and with that, let's now move to key differences. So uh, the two applications are both on uh, Microsoft Power Platform, and majorly uh, Power Apps is used for internal business applications, while Power Pages focuses on uh, external facing websites, or like we said, um, customer portals, employee portals, and yeah. And then uh, Power Apps is more oriented towards uh, applications development, and then Power Pages is more of web development. And then uh, both have data integration with Dataverse and other data sources, uh, but majorly Power Apps um, we use it with internal data sources, while Power Pages it's externally. Now uh, the reason we're saying this is because for you to use a Power App, you need to be authenticated within a tenant, while Power Pages can be made public for anyone to access. So as much as our two apps have differences, they also have issues. Uh, for example, uh, both are part of the Microsoft platform, yeah. And then uh, for both, it's local development. They all have templates that you just uh, drag and drop without, yeah, without so much of uh, background information on coding needed. And then to the elephant in the room, we want to decide, we want to make a decision. When do I use Power Apps and when do I use Power Pages? So. Uh, one major consideration is the audience. So uh, we say that our apps is best suited for internal users uh, because you need to be authenticated. Yeah, and our pages can be used by anyone, internal, external, and the general public once you make uh, the website public and accessible to everyone. And then uh, the purpose, so um, when creating business applications that you want for internal processes, then ideally you should go for Power Apps. But if you want to interact with external stakeholders, then uh, the best here is Power Pages. And then um, for you to design with Power Apps, you just need basic knowledge of app development and maybe user interface design. Uh, for Power Pages, you may need to understand web design principles and yeah, more customization skills. And then uh, integration, uh, Power Apps works well with internal systems and data sources, and then Power Pages, it's excellent for all your external data access and providing publishing interfaces. Um, now, security and compliance, um, both are secure, uh, 
for power apps everyone has to be authenticated um, by the organization the tenant organization while power pages you when you make it public that means uh, anyone can access and then um, scalability uh, both power apps and power pages are scalable and then um, um, costs differ uh, since per apps is uh, cost per user or per app when scaling across an organization while per pages use the pay as you go model based on the number of authenticated users. So basically in conclusion uh, choose per apps if you need to build internal tools for your team, if you want to automate business processes and you want to create mobile friendly apps without deep coding knowledge and for per pages uh, this is when you need to create external facing websites or you want to share and collect data from external users and maybe build customer or partner portals with robust security so uh, we'll now proceed to uh, demonstration of the two yeah but even as we do that um, it's important to note that both power apps and power pages are powerful tools that will significantly enhance your business processes and customer interactions so uh, narrow down to the specific needs of your audience and proceed to develop your app or web. Yeah, so let's get to the demo. So let's now proceed to a demonstration. And yeah, let's start with Power Apps. So, like we said, uh, Power Apps offers you a platform where you can create an application by just dragging or dropping. Um, the text boxes, buttons, and all the all these uh, which are already preset, and you can make connections to your data sources. You can just you can connect to Power Automate. You can there's so much you can do within Power Apps when creating applications for your internal processes and automation. So uh, as you can see now, this is a budget tracker. Let's play the app and get to interact with it. So um, you can see, for example, these the amounts and a chart of how they were used. Uh, we can go to the customer visit and then uh, you see the expenses, the fuel, washing, the extra and the percentage. And then uh, if we are to input a new uh, expense, yeah, we will just we'll just uh, click on the add on the add button here and then uh, your budget title, budget amount and how it was spent and then just save and we're done. So um, with that, let's proceed to Power Pages. Uh, like we said, Power Pages is also a local development tool whereby you just drag and drop and you can just edit. For example, um, we can edit this to input anything that we need to add to the website. And then, um, yeah, you can edit the pages, you can edit different pages and all within this interface and Microsoft also provides copilot for both uh, Power Pages and Power Platform to help ease the development process. Yeah, because with simple instructions, the copilot can assist you develop. So uh, when you, you're done with uh, edits and publish, so the site will be live and you can be able to navigate through the different tabs and different pages. Yeah, so you can have your employees sign in and get to do anything they need to do on the portal you can uh, if you decide to make it a public facing website then you just need to go live and your customers can be able to experience this so thank you and happy development